Hi, I thank you for giving me your trust and some of your time to see this video. I will refresh you on how to set up Apple Intelligence on a Mac with the Apple Silicon chip in this video. First, we need to update the Mac to Mac OS 15.1. To update, we need to have a fast and stable internet connection, fully charge the Mac or connect it to a power source and back up the Mac computer before we update. To back up, we can back up to iCloud Drive. To do that, we click Account, click iCloud, click Drive, and turn this on. Sync this Mac. We turn it on. If you want to back up desktop and documents folder, Turn this on. It will take a while to back up. You can sync these to iCloud Drive as well. Another way is to use Time Machine to back up your Mac to an external drive or network device. See, connect the external drive or network storage device to your Mac and back it up. This may take hours depending on what you want to back up from your Mac to the external drive or iCloud. Then go ahead and update your Mac if you haven't. I will link a video that shows how to follow the safe guidelines to update your Mac. To the latest release. After you successfully upgrade your Mac to Mac OS 15.1, you won't start using Apple Intelligence right away. You need to join the wait list, wait over two hours to get approved, and then you can set up your Mac to start using Apple Intelligence. To join the wait list, open the settings app, click Siri. For you, where is says preparing here it will tell you to join the wait list click a few clicks you will be on the wait list after over two hours you will get a notice that your mark is now ready to use apple intelligence still you need to follow through to set up apple intelligence on your mark with the apple silicon chip how the notice is here that the computer is ready for Apple intelligence. See? And the settings app shows the notice too. When we click the Apple logo, you should see it tells you one update. You can click here, open the settings app or click this logo. See? It says ready for Apple Intelligence. Click it. We say continue. We click summarize all. If you wanted to summarize all notification previews, you can turn this on. If you don't want that, you can just say set up later. If you want to use Apple Intelligence with Siri, you can click continue. Click continue again. One thing to know is when you click Siri and click language if you set it to any other language than english united states see it says apple intelligence is not available when siri is set to english australia any other language than english united states won't work for now let's try chinese see the same so for your 
Apple intelligence and Siri to work, for Apple intelligence to work at all, the language at this recording and at this first release of Apple in intelligence, you have to set it to English United States. One thing to do still is to wait for Apple Intelligence to finish downloading for you to get all the features. The shortcut to use Apple Intelligence is to press the command key on the keyboard twice. You need to set that up too. So now we press the command key on the keyboard two times. What we need to do to use Siri with Apple Intelligence too is to turn this on. You can pick either of these. We click continue. You actually have to say this. Siri, how is the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. It's still downloading for us to use the full features of Apple Intelligence. See, the download is complete. We can start using the full features of Apple Intelligence. We need to set up the shortcut to bring up Apple Intelligence quickly. The shortcut is to press the command key two times. We still have to set this up. So press your command key on your Mac computer twice. See, he says, enable type to Siri shortcut. We click this. See, this shortcut applies to type to Siri and speak to Siri. This was the first one we did, which is to press the left command key twice. Let's try that. See, you can type to Siri or click this mic icon to talk to Siri. What's today? Thank you. Once you say thank you, it's gone. Or you can change it to press the network or globe icon on the bottom left of your keyboard and the S key. I think that's long process. See, it brings up Siri. Let's just leave it on the left command key twice if you have another shortcut that is bind to the command key that you press it twice you can change it to the right command key or you can customize as you want you can say pre press later v twice didn't seem to work.
let's just keep it simple again to type to Siri we just press the left command key twice this will type to it we can say when is the full release of Apple intelligence and press enter and it shows this to speak to it we press the mic icon how long will Apple intelligence be in beta? He shows this. Once you say thank you, he is gone from the screen. Thank you. Let's look at using Apple intelligence in the notes app. You can see the Apple intelligence icon here. You can just click on it to start using it here. You can ask it to make this write up friendly, professional or concise. See is now short see you can do control Z to undo it again we can click here to bring up the Apple intelligence tools then we can do professional see again you can do control Z if you don't like it you can right click to for right click to work you have to highlight it you can click the icon here and pick friendly you see We can summarize it. We can ask Apple Intelligence to summarize what 
we have written or what we have received or the meetings or phone calls if you like the summary of this you can we can do key points if you like it you just click replace see See, you can go online, and you can copy an article or write on the article. You can ask Apple Intelligence to summarize the key points of the article. that we can use Apple intelligence on articles on the internet too. Let's look at how to use it in messages. It tells us here that we can use it in the messages app. Also ask Apple Intelligence to proofread, to rewrite. Let's ask it to proofread it. If you write a lot, this proofread is very important. Let's look at to rewrite. Just use AI to challenge yourself. Don't just let it do everything for you write something nice and compare it to what ai will write i i use ai to challenge myself that's what i encourage it keeps your brain active too because the brain also needs cognitive exercises and one way we can exercise the brain is to read write He's rewriting it. Don't just use AI. Okay. Maybe the article is too long. See, that's why you don't have to rely on AI all the time. Supposing you needed to rewrite this article and you have a deadline, you see, you, you wouldn't have made it. Just use AI to challenge yourself. Read, write, do something first, then compare it with what AI will do and keep improving. The human brain also needs cognitive exercises. And when we don't exercise it, we just leave the computer to do everything for us it will harm the human brain and then harm our health. So use AI, use Apple Intelligence, Chat, GPT, Copilot to challenge yourself. Let us go back to notes.
maybe here we can ask Apple Intelligence to summarize or rewrite this for us. We've done proofread. It didn't find any mistake. We can do rewrite. Look at the cool animation. It tells you it's working. See, it has rewritten it for us. See that. If you don't want it, you can just do Control Z. So far, we've seen proofread, rewrite. We've seen the tones of writing that Apple Intelligence can make writing friendly, professional, concise or brief, then it can summarize, it can do key points, it can do list table, we can do table, see, that's why we don't have to rely on it all the time, because it can fail. The same thing we did in the notes app, we can do it in the messages app and the mail app. You can right click or click this icon and make it more friendly. See? You can make it professional. See that? We can revert it if we don't want. See. We can keep reverting. See. Now let's see. Let's press command key twice. See, you can also ask it to create image for you.
see is not something we googled apple intelligence created it for us see but it is also pointing us to this website to get free computer png images Create a picture of an eagle. But he's pointing us to this iStockphoto.com. See. This is Apple Intelligence in the Mail app. When you open a message in the Mail app, you can click to summarize the message, the email. See? This is what this email is about. It applies to any email you get in the Mail app. You can ask it to summarize the email for you. Then when we click to send a message, we can see the Apple intelligence icon here. We can ask it to proofread, rewrite. We can change the tone of the message. We can do everything we have seen earlier. We saw in this video that we have to update the Mac with the Apple Silicon to the latest release of Mac OS Sequoia, which is the 15.1. And we saw that to upgrade or update, we have to follow safe guidelines. We have to back up the Mac. We have to have a fast and stable internet and we have to fully charge the Mac or connect it to a power source. Then we saw that we have to join a wait list to use the Apple intelligence, then set it up. And we saw how to use it in the notes app, in the messages app and the mail app. And on the internet i recommend you use ai apple intelligence copilot chat gpt to challenge yourself to be more creative more diligent and more positive use it to exercise your brain write write a code and see what ai will do and you will see that you keep getting better I'd like to hear your feedback, please. Have you started using Apple Intelligence? Were you disappointed or are you surprised? Subscribe, share, like, comment, please. Thank you again for your trust and your time.